Hello everyone, the heavens opened earlier and the rain shows no inclination to stop. We're looking forward to the game anyway. I'm Derek Ray and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And with the game just moments away now, this really ought to be a superb watch. It's Argentina and they take on Spain. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And the match begins. Promising sequence. Ferran Torres. And flag raised offside. Well, that was always going to be offside. He just needed to hold on to the ball that little bit longer. The Argentina first team. Emilio Martinez is the goalkeeper. Rodrigo de Paul starts alongside Leandro Paredes in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. That they look as though they want to make this move count. And he takes it on. And that's a straightforward stop. Here's the lineup for Spain. Danny Olmo plays with Ferran Torres out wide. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Danny Olmo. The ball with Rodri. Asensio. That's what you call defending from the majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Great goalkeeping. Short corner it is. The inside route looking promising. Rodri! A goal! On the back of sustained pressure. Now they deservedly hold the advantage. Well, here you can see it again. Good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top-class goal. So, underway again here. One nil the score. Now they stopped them in their tracks. This might be ideal for the counter. But nothing comes of it. Laporte. Gabby. Now let's see what they can do here. Giving the ball away. Llorente, here's Marco Asensio, and Torres on the ball, has a go, determined block. And they need to get tighter here, big chance to get them on terms, and a goal, real excitement here, the equaliser. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plomb. It's a great goal. So back underway. One goal apiece here. 
He has teammates around him. This looks more than decent. It's got to be! Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Fired over by Messi. And a relatively high degree of difficulty for the goalkeeper. The first half here comes to an end. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, they weren't at their best, but with that equaliser, you can see why he's so important to this team. Hopefully they can get more of the ball to him in the second half so he can show us his ability. And so the match is underway. Majestic piece of goalkeeping. Well, he loves the big moments, doesn't he? And he's proved it again there. Short corner it is. The inside route looking promising. Rodri! And they need to get tighter here. Big chance to get them on terms. And a goal! Real excitement here. The equaliser. This looks more than decent. It's got to be! Well, there's a keeper on song. Well, how did he stop that? That's just unbelievable. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. This might have potential. Oh, yes! It's gone in! And now a chance for them to revel in the moment. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And when he gets onto it, he holds off the challenge, keeps his balance, and makes good contact with the ball. That's a top-class finish. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. But it stopped a promising attack in its tracks. And you wouldn't be surprised if there's a card coming out here. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. Paredes. Superbly read and executed. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. Breaking at pace. Can he finish? Oh, did so well to deny him. He's driven in the corner. Not the best clearance. And I think the threat has been averted. 30 minutes to go then. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Rodri. Here's Marco Asensio. And no problems at all for the keeper. Spain recovering possession well. Rodri. 
Here is Marco Asensio. Asensio. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And out for a throw-in. Just misfiring with the pass. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And possession seeded by Argentina. Well, no stopping him. Promising move. Well, disappointing end to the move. Plenty of support here. That's a nice looking ball. Well, they survived the attack. It's opening up for them. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. And the pass could do damage. This could be it. And it is. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. Here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? And support available. And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Substitution time it is here. It'll be a corner. Who's going to get on the end of it? And it goes into the history books as a win for Argentina. A very satisfactory outcome. Stuart, your analysis. Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, I don't think, Stuart, anyone can really quibble about what he put into the game. Yeah, not much more you could ask for, really. Plenty of effort, a goal, and most importantly, the right result. He should be happy with today.